Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Fatima Duzara binti Halimuddin. I'm from Institute of Teacher Education, Razimilewar Campus. So today I'll be presenting on the subject of EDUP 3013, Philosophy and Education in Malaysia, on topic Philosophy of Teacher Education, Conceptual Framework of Teacher Education Model. My lecturer for this subject is Dr. Haji Kamruddin bin Haji Abu Hassan. So the content of this presentation is the first one is elements of FPG, objective of FPG, conceptual framework of teacher education model and the first question. The base of FPG, philosophy of teacher education, teachers who are noble, progressive and scientific, ready to uphold the country's aspirations and uphold the country's cultural heritage ensure individual development and maintain a united, democratic, progressive, and disciplined society. So from the previous FPG, Philosophy of Teacher Education, we can see a few elements there. The first one is noble. Teachers play a role as agents of change in the dynamic world of education. As role models and example to their students, teachers must have a noble and disciplined character. This means that a teacher must be cautious, disciplined, and have high moral values. Each behavior reflects the teacher's own personality. If a teacher doesn't maintain self-discipline, this will set a bad example to the student. The second element in the FPG is progressive and scientific outlook. A teacher must have professional skills in produce teaching materials to improve teaching quality. They also need to have a high level of creativity and innovation along with emerging technology. This element emphasizes us to involve with the world which now emphasis on science and technology. Teachers must be skilled in preparation of teaching materials that can attract interest and motivate students in lesson. The third element is willing to uphold the aspirations of the country. As educators of the nation, teachers need to be efficient, honest, trustworthy, and compliant with the country's law. Aspirations mean strong desire or will to achieve something. In the context of upholding the aspirations of the country, teachers act as agents to achieve the aspiration. Teachers have a role to educate the younger generation so that they can contribute to the development and progress of the country. The fourth element is preserving the national cultural heritage. Teachers are responsible for cultivating Malaysian cultural values among students to appreciate the country's unique culture. Teachers, they need to instill pride in students toward cultural diversity among them, as well as patriotism and love of country to ensure individual development and maintaining a united society. The fifth is to ensure individual development. Teachers play a vital role in developing students physically, emotionally, spiritually, and intellectually. Teachers' job is not only to teach, but also to provide support, encouragement, advice, and as a reference point for students. All these elements form the basis of the National Philosophy of Education. Comprehensive and integrated development can help polish the potential that exists in individual. So the sixth is maintain a united, democratic, progressive, and disciplined society. Teachers should emphasize students about respect for each other despite different backgrounds. They also need to provide opportunities for students to make decisions. And they need to emphasize the discovery method in teaching. Teachers should emphasize the element of unity in all activities that they conduct 
and ensure that the students of various races always interact with each other. Teachers should also provide opportunities for students to make decisions in the selection of student leaders, chairpersons, and committee members. In teaching, discovery methods should be emphasized to cultivate the nature of creativity. So the objective of FPG, philosophy of teacher education is to produce quality teachers in terms of personal, professional, social, mastery knowledge and skills, as well as, as well as teaching practice. An excellent teacher needs to have the inner characteristic of a balanced personality. It is very important because a teacher needs to have a stable emotions to enable them to form a positive generation. Teacher, teachers will also be role models to students. Thus, the teacher should be the best icon to the student. A teacher not only needs to provide academic education, but he also needs to instill noble values in the daily teaching and learning process. So the next is conceptual framework of teacher education model. The conceptual framework of teacher education is formulated based on the principles of philosophy of teacher education and educational goals, FPK. So based on this model, it can conclude here according to the conceptual framework of teacher education model, a teacher must first strengthen the basic aspect of divinity society and self. The next step is to strengthen the skills, knowledge, and values. After that, cultivate and maintain the spiritual, physical, intellectual, and emotion elements. The combination of all the elements in this conceptual model can further strengthen the element of accountability of a teacher. So this model covers teachers and accountability under three main dimensions, divinity, society, and self. Divinity, the increase of knowledge, appreciation, and practice of individuals based on belief and adherence to religious teaching. Society, emphasis on the role of teachers as educators, leaders, and agents of change. Self, emphasis on building understanding and patriotism, fostering a culture of knowledge and forming a pure and noble personality. Under the three main dimensions, this conceptual model of teacher education includes three basic aspects, namely knowledge, skills, and values. Knowledge related to the development and importance of education in life. Skills include skills in using le lesson materials with the aim of improving the quality of teaching and learning. While values refer to the practice of noble values, caring teacher behavior, noble character, resilience, patriotic, innovative, creative, and adherence to the ethics of the teaching profession. In addition, the conceptual model of teacher education also emphasizes the goal of developing the potential of teachers in a balanced, balanced and integrated manner in terms of physical, emotional, spiritual, and intellectual. These four aspects are important because an educator must first have a stable internal element in order to be able to produce a balanced generation of physical, emotional, spiritual, and intellectual in line with the philosophy of education of our country. So the hot question here is what is the most essential element that needs to be present in a teacher? This is the references that I use to do this presentation. Okay. That's all for me. Thank you.